Simrad Marine Electronics introduces AutoTrack, a powerful new feature for the Halo 2000 and 3000 radars, enhancing what is now our most intuitive and easy to use radar system yet. AutoTrack is a zoneless target tracking system that automatically acquires and tracks targets that are of interest around your vessel. Prioritizing targets based on where they are and whether they are moving or stationary. AutoTrack provides information on whether the targets are dangerous or safe, which way they are traveling, and how close they will pass. AutoTrack works seamlessly behind the scenes. You don't have to set zones or manually acquire targets. Targets are tracked if they are of interest, and tracking is automatically stopped when the target is no longer of interest. Targets are ranked based on where they are in relation to your vessel and whether they are moving toward or away from us. Targets ranked highest are tracked, and those that meet dangerous target thresholds are classified as dangerous and raise a dangerous target alert. Dangerous target alerts are shown no matter what screen you are on. Whether you are on sonar, chart, or any other screen during operation, AutoTrack provides the captain with the ultimate situational awareness tool. AutoTrack is enabled by default and can be easily turned on and off in the Vessels and Targets menu from the radar page. Here, you can also set how many targets you want displayed on screen, from 5 to 50 targets per virtual range, with the most important targets are prioritized. To switch AutoTrack on, open the Radar Settings menu, scroll down to Vessels and Targets, and here we can select AutoTrack on. Now we're tracking targets of interest. We can change the number of targets that we want to track using the slider option. Note, with none selected, that we are still showing dangerous targets. Selecting all targets will display up to 50 dangerous targets. And when you activate AutoTrack, the targets will appear almost instantaneously. To access the target filters, you'll need to visit the main setting page, which can be accessed from the home screen. Here, the time and distance to the closest point of approach can be changed, and filters based on distance and speed can be adjusted. Here, a target is tracked one half mile off our starboard bow. Note how the target has now become dangerous and raises a dangerous target alert pop-up. The dangerous target alert can be moved around the screen by tapping and dragging to ensure that it doesn't cover something of interest on the screen. At the same time, the target's range and bearing and course and speed is shown in the pinned data box. The data box is yellow to indicate that it's a dangerous target. The alert pop-up on the left side shows a visual representation of where the dangerous target appears in relations to our bow and also shows a range and the bearing of the target with real-time updates. The target passing our bow is still dangerous. The alert pop-up shows at a glance where the target is relative to our bow, plus the range and bearing to the target. The target passing our bow is still dangerous. Now another target is approaching our starboard bow. It is not dangerous, but it is of interest to us and we want to continue to watch it. The dangerous target crosses our bow and the data box and dangerous target alert continue to be updated. We can see that the other vessel is still approaching, but heading slightly away from us. Target 120 has passed to the point that it is no longer dangerous as they are moving away from us. Notice how the velocity track coloring changes to blue, indicating that they are moving away. Now the tracking is stopped on target 120 as they are passing down our port side and no longer of interest. At the same time, the dangerous target alert shows another target is dangerous at 1.18 nm outside of the current range of the PPI. We can choose to snooze or clear the alert. Snooze turns off alerts for 5 minutes. Clear removes the alert for the target associated with the alert. In this instance, the clear button is pressed to clear the dangerous alert from this target. Tracking is stopped on the target off our starboard bow and is now turning away from us, heading into the wharf area to starboard. A target is approaching on the port bow. We are on stand-on vessel, but we are still interested in this target as it is a potential threat. Note that it is colored yellow, indicating that it is approaching our vessel. The target becomes dangerous and triggers a dangerous target alert. The alert pop-up provides a visual indication of where the target is in relation to our bow as well as range and bearing to the target. At the same time, a data box is pinned to the target showing range and bearing and course and speed. The pinned data box is yellow to indicate that the target is dangerous. We have two targets approaching. Both are dangerous. Note that the dangerous target pop-up alerts on the closest target which presents the highest threat. Another target approaches which is tracked. 
but doesn't meet the dangerous target criteria. The target passes down the starboard side and tracking is stopped as it is no longer of interest and begins to move away. The target on starboard side is no longer dangerous and as we pass by is no longer tracked as it passes behind our vessel. Auto track is compatible with Halo 2000 and 3000 radars, a newly released software version. It's compatible on NSS4, NSX, and NSX Ultra Wide on the latest 2.1 software update, and compatible on the NSS and NSO Evo 3 and 3S platforms on software version 25.1. AutoTrack will also be introduced to our Halo 20 Plus and Halo 24 dome radars later this year. AutoTrack, radar that thinks for itself.